How's it going guys? We are back with another episode in Skyrim Anniversary Edition content. Today is going to be Forgotten Seasons. This adds a couple new unique pieces of armor and adds a new horse that you can ride. New dungeon where the Dwemer control the weather and yeah, so super cool. The way you get this guy started is you're going to want to come over here to run off caverns. It's a little hard to get here if you want to climb the mountains, but you can run along and come up through these little ruins and then wrap around here. Once you get over here, just outside the cave on the ground, there is a horse, and this is the horse that we acquire once we find all the pieces to put them back together. Click him and the Dwarven Horse Quest starts, and then just head on inside. I will say this is quite the lengthy dungeon. She goes real deep. And of course, a note on the bed here that I missed the first time I came through. Okay, let's go. Good thing I can sprint for a very long time. What do we have here? Another little bitch. Let's go. Done. Too easy, guys. Your weakness is you're in a cave and you can only roll on flat things. Couldn't get me if I was anywhere but on the patio. And there's one, and the other is up here. Okay, here we go, and another opponent. It's time for my specialty, the run, jump, and swipe in the nuts. A match for me, eat my ass. Yes, I love when that happens. You weren't supposed to sprint down these hallways, apparently. Over here! Over here. You're interrupting my execution. Get your head out of the way. Ah! No match for Talos. Let's go. Got one here, and one at the very bottom. I like to take the uh, shortcut. Ooh. We did it! Another little one. Okay. This might even be the longest dwarven ruin in the game now, I'm not too sure. Possibly. Big open rooms, that's for sure. Hmm. 
The stairs. We'll take the path through Morio. Man, I'd be tired after the first set. I'd be like, Serana, I'm going on your shoulders. Oh my gosh, my Reichling's gone. I just noticed. What the hell happened to him? This is a first. First time he hasn't been by my side in years. Good, I'm glad he's gone, little fucker. Always blocking the doorways. What do we have here? Find the entrance to the Dwarven Ruin. Is it possibly the, the stairs coming up right in front of me? Straight ahead? Is that the uh, door to the entrance? Okay. Investigate the mage's camp straight ahead on the right. Here we go. Read that. Okay, now it tells us that we need to disable each of the conduits and the four different elements. Grab the Dwarven Crown. And now that we have all that, we are going to be headed out into our first one. And I'm going to do this guy right here. Autumn bells. Okay, we're in the autumn area, and at the beginning of each area, there will be a bandit with a clue. In this particular area, this is where you find the pieces of the horse. You can read that note and learn that we need to collect certain herbs to put in these boilers. Okay, so there's three on each side. The room is divided by a giant uh, gap, and there's a bridge over cross. And then there's three kinds of herbs. They can look similar, like one's white, one's off-white, one's light green. But just make sure that you grab one from each side. There was the red, here is the white. And then just a little further past the white is this one. Out of my way! And this is the blue. And then, okay, so there was the three that we just collected. I'm up on the little watchtower that's fallen down. And just beside the hay bale on the side, we have a piece of the horse. Now I'm just going to cross the bridge. Spin around just to confuse you. Okay, now here we have the off-white, off-color white, which is why it can be confusing. So you need six in total. Then just beside that is the orange. And then over here we have the green. Okay, now after you've collected those three, then just over here there's a set of stairs, and this will lead you to the first out of three masks that we're looking for. Come down here. Pull the lever, crunk! I wish I had a follower named Crunk. And grab the mask. Dwarven Autumn Mask. 
Or maybe I should say Mask of Autumn. Starting to talk like Shale Grath. Increase your magic by 25 points. Restoration spells and illusion spells cost 10% less to cast. I'm not a fan of the chubby cheeks, but it is a unique mask. I like my crown. What can I say? Okay, now coming outside the room, guys. I'm up on another collapsed pillar here. We're on the side we are where I just grabbed the mask, and you're going to want to grab this piece of the horse. And then on the one side across from where the bridge is that connects the two rooms at the far end there's another piece of the horse sitting right here in this little bowl and then now that we have all those herbs we're just going to be putting them in each boiler to get the part that we need and the final piece of the horse okay we did it Doesn't look like a horse head from there, but grab that. And we have gotten everything that we can from this side. Now we're just headed out. And now we're gonna shoot up this way and do spring. I think this is spring. Maybe it's summer. No, this one's summer. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, now just right here we have the spider control rod. Pull this and you can generate new spiders if your spider dies. And we're just going to get them to come onto these things by casting the staff, obviously. And then he'll open doors. Unlock things. See, there's just long rooms with these buttons. Super straightforward and simple. I'm not going to walk you through the entire thing because I'm pretty sure you can figure that one out. Well, maybe not. It's just as hard as those Nordic puzzles. What can I say? Sometimes you just got to turn around and leave out the door you came in. Just kidding. But anyways. Come here, spider. Again. Again. One more time. Nope. More like three more times. Maybe I should have left me walking to the mall. Not. Okay, now this is probably the coolest looking room in the whole Forgotten Seasons dungeon, in my opinion. Reminds me of the Dragon Age room. Dragon Age Origins Forge. Yeah. I love it. Todd. I wish you just got caught on more things when you try and run. Honestly, it'd be even funner. Look at that. Okay, now we just gotta wait 20 more minutes for the spider. Here we are after lunch. And then this is the part when you get to the very last one and you realize you forgot one at the very beginning. Yeah. Okay, and that's it, guys. Summer is shut down. No mask in this one. So now we're headed over here to the spring side. And this is the Spriggan side also. All these friggin' Spriggans. Okay, read that note. It's just gonna say you gotta kill these guys, basically. Let's go! And it will also talk about the Dwemer little flying machine on the ground there. It's a consumable. And there's only one in here as far as I know. And if you go into your inventory, it's not in the potions category. It's in misc and you cook it and it will fly around you. But I actually duplicated it because I didn't want to just only have one. We'll get to it though. You'll see it in a sec. So make your way through the hallways. 
Kill all the friggin' spriggins. Yeah. Soul trapped. I love that soul tear spell. Now you are for me. With one shout. Let's go kill your friends. Ah! Yeah. Easy. Okay, continuing on. You're going to come to one room with a bunch of them. The big fat one. And he's going to have a key that we need. Let's go. Blooming Spriggan. Okay, now we got a key for a room that we couldn't go into. In one of the rooms that we passed earlier. Hallways, I should say. Okay, but here is the little dwarven drone fly. Value two ninety nine. And then grab the little conduit gem. And then we're going to that door that I said was locked that we just got the key off the spriggan for. And then over here we have the spring visage. Visage? I don't know. Okay, and this increases your health 25 points, increase your light armor skill by 5 points, and increase your heavy armor skill by 5 points. So, I think this might be my favorite of the three aesthetically, but I don't really like the stats on it. And then leaving spring, now we are headed over here to winter. This guy will have the note, just says jump in the water, la la la. And here we go, making our way up the stairs. The ramps, they're wheelchair accessible. Making our way all the way up. Good thing there's no ice on the ramp. Slide right off. Man, whoo, what a jump. And here we go, the first leap of faith. This water could be two feet deep. Oh, lucky me. Now just right here to the right, we have the way to get to the mask. And another centurion. Now we open that, and here we go. The Winter Visage. Passage. Increase your stamina 25 points, 100 attacks, do 10% more damage. 200 attacks, do 10% more damage. Got some spiky cheeks. I would say of the three, this is probably my favorite for its effect. And yeah, so I'm still going for the crown though. More ramps to climb. If I was in this dungeon, I'd just be like, nope. Guess I'm never completing it. I'm not jumping into those 
football field size drops into ice water. I don't even like cold showers. Like to keep the lights on. Okay, we made it. We can shut off the conduit. Okay, it's done. So we've got all the masks, we've shut off all the elements, and now we are just making our way down the main stretch. Proceed with the dungeon. But we've been interrupted! You little motherfucker. Here we go. Ah. Love when that happens. Done. Not done. Still have you. Yeah! Okay. This is it. A giant spider! You are the last thing in my way! Let's go! And after you kill the spider, complete Forgotten Seasons. On him he will have Ward of the Seasons, which will increase Fire, Shock, and Frost Resistance by 10%, and Poison Resistance by 10%. Definitely a unique set with a good effect and then right over here on this table we will have a unique spell tomb to read so what this actually does is it's an effect that barter prices are 10 percent better when raining with a full set of light armor equipped stamina regens five percent faster in clear or clement weather 10 percent chance of critical hit that does 10 percent more critical damage when bows are overcast with a full set of heavy armor armor equipped armor rating increases by 10 percent when snowing it's a mouthful it's a mouthful all right. Just like me, Talos is hung like a horse, right? Tell him, Serana. Tell him. She's like, let's just get this over with. Now we're headed back up. <laughs> These jokes. And we are headed outside to assemble our new buddy. What's up, dude? You ain't broken anymore, Humpty Dumpty. Completed the dwarven horse. I like it. And to finish things off, you're going to want to head to an anvil, and in the dwarven category, you can slot one of those face masks that we found into the crown, and it will double its effects. And yeah, so you can only use one, so make sure it's the one that you like. And once you do that, you will complete the quest. The Dwarven Crown. And that is it for this video, guys. I got lots coming, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. Hey, you mix potions, right? Will you brew me an ale?